You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available in the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at Twitter.com slash options, StockTwits.com slash options, Facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com. Welcome to the Options Playbook, the program where we break down cutting-edge option strategies and explain how you can incorporate them into your own portfolio. Whether you're looking to grow your capital with some offensive maneuvers or protect your investments with defensive plays, you can find them all in the Options Playbook. The Options Playbook is brought to you by Ally Invest. Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to ally.com slash invest slash disclosures to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through Ally Invest Securities, LLC, member FINRA, and SIPC. Now, let's open the playbook and get started. Welcome to Options Playbook Radio. I'm your host, Brian Overby, Ally Invest Senior Options Analyst and author of the Options Playbook. All right, let's jump right into it. Last week, we looked at Coinbase. We did a very speculative trade, and I'd say anything where you're selling options on a short-term basis is always going to be a speculative trade. It's There's not a, a room to adjust. Um, you do have time to react. So if you are doing a trade on a shorter term basis, and last week we looked at a short put spread or a bull put spread or a put credit spread, and uh, we had it expire on August 5th. So last week, Coinbase actually uh, had some good news uh, and the market did have a solid run up. But as always, uh, Coinbase and a lot of stuff in the crypto space has a lot of volatility in it. And as far as volatility is concerned, it didn't disappoint. And on that day, uh, because we had an increase of implied volatility because of the news that was surrounding a lot that was going on in the crypto space, we were able to go quite a bit out of the money and sell a four point wide put credit spread and bring in right around 80 cents on that trade. So quick review of that trade. Uh, it was short lived and it never did hit our short strike. So uh, there was volatility on the chart. But if you stayed the course, you, you did just fine on the trade. So in this instance, what we were looking at, Coinbase was trading at 93.09. Uh, when we looked to put the trade on, the market was rocking and rolling when we put it on. So we actually taped uh, during the market hours, which isn't always the case. And at that point in time, uh, stock was at 93.09. We looked at selling the 84 strike put with the August 5th expiration and then buying the 80 strike put with the same expiration. Net credit of 80 cents to the account. So you had a four point wide spread. The maximum you could make on the trade was the net credit, which was 80 cents. The maximum that you could lose was four minus 80 or $3 and 20 cents. The stock uh, stayed pretty safe. It, it did drift lower after we taped the call, um, but then it spiked back up. You're only nervous point on the trade would have been on Friday morning. On Friday morning, the stock actually opened up right around 86. So at that point in time, if your short put spread, and you know we always do this on paper, but if it was trading around $1.60, which means you would have lost uh, the max, or I'm sorry, you would have lost the maximum that you could have made on the trade, right? So if you pay $1.60 for it, 
to close out that trade minus the 80 cents that you initially brought in. That means you would be down 80 cents on the trade. And that's a general rule of thumb. Some people will say, I don't want to lose more than the maximum that I could have made, but you would have had to be there in the moment. The initial print opened down uh, right around $86. And then the the market just went straight up and it went up 10 points by 1030 and it was trading pretty close to 96 by 1030 in the afternoon on Friday. So if you had that panic moment, you might've got out and had a loss on the trade and there would have been nothing wrong with that. If that's your rules, that's what you stick with. Well, that's what you would have done. In this instance, I would probably just stayed the course. If it would have traded south of 84 before that expiration date on Friday and would have traded somewhere within that range, uh, I, I would like to, I would have got out at that point in time. Uh, I always have my own rule is that if it comes down to my short or my long put strike. So if we got all the way down to 80, the strike that we bought, that would have became an at the money option contract. And if there's some time left in it, uh, then I would close it out and and just move on. So it never got below even 84. So I would have rode this trade all the way to the end and maybe closed it out uh, on, on Friday if it was trading somewhere close to a nickel. But that would have been the way that I would approach that trade. Uh, and I guess the emphasis here is that if I'm doing a shorter term speculation trade, I'm not looking to roll it into a butterfly. I'm not looking to roll it out in time. It's a scenario, saw an opportunity, market was up, good news in the space. Let's sell on the momentum, hope that that at least stays there or continues on up. And it's just a speculative short term, short put credit spread. Okay, so this week we're going to come in and we're going to kind of do a little bit of the same thing. Uh, I've always, I always like to do the Buffett watch and see what uh, Warren Buffett is up to. And he's really been up to uh, Occidental Petroleum uh, back in June. He added to his position, uh, made it uh, basically that uh, his company, uh, Berkshire Hathaway, owned over a 16% stake in Occidental Petroleum. And then guess what happened this week? They came out and bought some more. And now they own a 20% stake in Occidental Petroleum. Uh, And this is in the midst of oil actually coming down quite heavily. It's had a huge run up. Uh, up to about a dollar, uh, 140 a barrel. Now it's trading just north of 90. And so let's, once again, let's do a short-term speculative trade. Well, we're going to go a little bit further out. This isn't Coinbase. It's not as volatile as Coinbase, but there's still a lot of volatility in the OXY options, which is the symbol for Occidental Petroleum. And so I'm going to keep the concept of the short put spread I I don't mind them. I don't mind short put spreads in this marketplace. And that's what Options Playbook Radio is all about is trying to take the market conditions and designing strategies around what's going on in this specific underlying or what's going on at this point in time in the marketplace. It it all comes from stems from the thought that there isn't a perfect strategy for all underlying stocks, right? So there's over 40 different plays inside the options playbook. So let's look at scenarios that's going on in the marketplace, come up with strategies that you might be able to apply to the stocks that you like to trade. All right. So Occidental Petroleum, uh, we are taping after the market closed today. It is Wednesday. Uh, The markets are closed. Occidental Petroleum uh, closed up a little bit today, but it had a, a, a pretty solid week. Um, right now it's at 62.86. It's up 45 cents on the day. So we're going to stick with the same theme, but we're going to go a little further in time. So there will be a chance to adjust this trade if you would like to, uh, but we're going to stick with the short put spread. Uh, we're going to avoid earnings, but in this space, in the energy space, it is uh, there's a lot of things that can happen, especially uh, because of the, the conflict in, between Ukraine and Russia. Uh, Any news in that could either hurt or help uh, the energy market uh, overall. Uh, uh, A bump up in in oil prices obviously could help this space. But uh, we're just going to do something uh, fairly speculative that's going to bring in a a decent amount of cash. I'm still seeing the options that we're going to trade are the September 16th expiration. There's 37 days. This would be more of... If I was a short put spread trader, this would be the type of underlying that I would like to trade it in. I have something with uh, 
some volatility and some predictability, which is a little bit of an oxymoron. I would be more apt to do uh, monthly short put spreads or short call spreads, depending on what my forecast would be on the underlying, on a stock like Occidental Petroleum than on a stock like Coinbase. Coinbase was a, in the moment. That's why we looked at it. Occidental Petroleum is just something that has, it, it's, it's an energy stock that ha- trades at decent volatilities, get decent premiums. So you're getting something when you're selling your spread, but you still don't have the, the volatility of the crypto space or you know some, some other high-flying industry. Okay, so here's our trade. <clears throat> September 16th is going to be the expiration. I'm looking over on the put side, stocks at 6286. Uh, if you look at the chart, Occidental Petroleum has really been trading within a channel. And the channel was set back in June when uh, Warren Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway bought their biggest stake right around the 55, no, I shouldn't say their biggest stake, but when they uh, jumped back in on Occidental Petroleum and added to their position, stock was right around 55. So if you want to take the time to look at a six-month or a one-year chart, you'll see that, it, that there is a channel and the bottom end of the channel is right around that 55 level. So I'm going to use that as kind of the line in the sand, kind of hoping that we can't, we don't break through uh, our short put strike. And we're going to sell that 55 strike put. And then we're going to go five points down and buy the 50 strike put. Yeah, If we see this right now, uh, that's trading at about a 52% implied volatility. And, you know, I think it just has a lot to do with where, where the marketplace is at nowadays. But we do have the VIX, you know, going south at 20 today. Um, but with that said, uh, we can do this five point wide put spread for a net credit to the account of 70 cents. That's about where the midpoint is at. And if we do that, so not, then we have 70 cents as our maximum profit on that trade. And our maximum risk, risk would be five minus the 70 cents or $4.30. So as far as dollar wise is concerned, uh, the maximum we could make is $70 less commissions if we could get a midpoint fill. And the maximum we could lose is $430 uh, plus commissions uh, for the maximum risk of our short put spread. So we have some time in this trade, uh, 37 days. So we'll come back next week. We'll look at it. Don't mind adjusting it. If if it comes down near my short strike, or I can actually look at the price of it and see where we're at uh, next week as far as the price is concerned, as it came down and now it's trading for basically double the net credit and look at making an adjustment on the trade. So we'll we'll play with this one a little bit more than we than we did last week with the Coinbase trade and that's going to be it for this episode of Options Playbook Radio. My name is Brian Overby. I'm the options guy at Ally Invest. Please email me if you have any questions at the options guy at invest.ally.com. You want to learn more about the educational events, please follow me on Twitter. I tweet about all of them. It's at Brian Overby, at my name. That's my Twitter handle. And then also, if you'd like to sign up for my newsletter uh, that goes out, well, I should say my educational email that makes you aware of what's going on week in and week, week out at LI Invest, that is li.com slash invest education. Thanks for listening. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Until then, may all the options you bought finish in the money and all the ones you sold finish out. The Options Playbook is brought to you by Ally Invest. Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to ally.com slash invest slash disclosures to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through Ally Invest Securities, LLC, member FINRA and SIPC. You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available on the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. 
That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, stocktwits.com slash options, facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com. <laughs> 